So there's fruits, and then there's strange fruits. So Nika's messaging me on Facebook. I'm like, what? What happened? Oh, my side is bleeding. Oh my God, are you okay? Yeah, I fell. I'm like, what the hell? What the, what the hell happened? Oh, I fell in the shower because I was trying to reach for my cereal bowl, and then I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> and then I stopped. Joanna's just like, get the f*** out of this room. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> hey, Fruit Loops is one hell of a thing. Fruits? Strange fruits. It was like a month ago I got a text from Melissa. You were like, oh, why are you answering your phone? You always answer your phone. Can you can I please talk to you? This is really important. And I had a play in like half an hour. Like I, I called Max. And she was like, okay, let's meet up tonight and we can listen to the song and then we can meet up later this weekend and record it. And I was like, what the f is going on? Like what is happening right now? <laughs> Flavorful, organic, fresh. Max does not. Am <laughs> I gonna be happy? Sage <laughs> says I am. I'm like their first fruit fly. So I'm their number one fan, that's for sure. They all know that, right? Yeah, I'm the fruit fly. I'm the number one fruit fly. I'm all, also the unofficial fourth fruit. <laughs> Did you get that? Did you get that? Yeah, yeah, it's there. It's yes! There. There's proof now. There's so much fun to be around with. You'll find yourself shedding tons of tears. Another misconception uh, that people have about hip hop is that it's dead. It's not dead. Some people say it's dead. It's, it's like, not. It's, I don't think, no, it's not dead. You know, you just have to seek it out. That's it, it's quality hip hop everywhere, so. And do you think is it because like some people who claim that it's dead are not doing their homework? Yeah, for sure, for mm -hmm. sure. And it's usually the older, you know, who are all about the golden era of hip hop. This is who I hear this comment from the most. Join us as we dive into the basket of refreshing beats, tasty treats, and all of the delicious sounds that you can feast. From CJLO 6090 AM, this is Strange Fruits on Rotation. A fruity buffet is what's in store as you will hear a variety of beats from their EP, all for your listening pleasure. That was Green Apple. So it's not easy to describe a groove that's full of enthusiasm and passion. And there's more to what we can see and what they can bring in to the table. If there's one word that I can give for this trio of young sound prodigies, well, they're pretty spontaneous. And that's actually a good thing. Our very first hip-hop artist in residence is full of surprises. And it's not that surprising that after being embedded in the local scene for years, they've built their street cred from the ground up, gaining the praise and respect that they deserve from fellow music makers, family members, and peers. It is also no surprise that this group has caught our hearts with their determination, inspiration, and dedication to help change the landscape of a sound that's long been known to be an exclusive boys only club. My name is Kelly, I'm the world music director at CJLO. It's been a privilege to meet a lot of Montreal hip hop artists because it's something new for me. Super great people, really amazing environment. Everybody's so happy to see you all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, we just did the hip hop night at uh, Reggie's. It was like a meet and greet for Strange Fruits. I've been to Reggie's a few times, you mm -hmm. know, being a Concordia alumni, and you know, people just go there to study or drink or whatever, but to have a full on, like, Turn house party esque yeah. vibe where, you know, like, you're in your basement, you're playing, like, reggaeton, hip hop, yep. that old school stuff, and you just bumping and grinding and you just <laughs> t swirling your sweatshirt around, like, you have that old school high school feel like oh it's friday night let's wall out you know mm -hmm. and man i haven't been to that kind of party in a while yeah. the music dropped there was nothing yeah there was no the beat just dropped there was like a misconnection and they're like okay someone's got to do something the club was full of people so they give the microphone to uh one of the three strange fruits i, I don't remember who it was 
She just started beatboxing. Beat? Okay, yeah. it was like, uh, you be chilling on them Instagram, Instagram photos. photos. And then the other one of the other girls started rapping. Hashtagging on them Instagram, Instagram photos. And then they were just like on it. Posted food on, on the Instagram, Instagram photos. photos. They were not afraid to take on. They got on stage. Mm. It was completely silent. They were like, all right, everybody, this is it. It was like their opportunity to shine. Mm. And they took it. They were so good. On the Instagram, Instagram photos. photos. Why you lying on, on your Instagram, Instagram photos? photos? No, filter on no, the Instagram, Instagram photos. You are no, lying on the Instagram photos. When would you say something yeah. and be like, Instagram photos? I just thought the moment was so serendipitous. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Yeah. Sounds like something right out of a movie. Yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the bass was going so loud and there were so many kids dancing. You're like, we couldn't even move around. No. Yeah. It's packed, awesome. packed, packed. It was so bad. And then that's it. No music. Everyone turns around. <laughs> You're like, what do you do? Do you leave? You know, like what happens next? And they just got on the mic, started singing. And like I'm saying, beatboxing. I didn't even know that they could beatbox. They were amazing. <laughs> it, it was all about them. They are stars. Uh, it's going to be a really nice on rotation. Are the strange fruits? What's their story, and what's it like being one? As you know, the strange fruits is our artist music at this time. I didn't know. Really? No, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm the first person. I'm the first person who heard about it. I probably like when I sat the fourth fruit is that I get news of what's happening within the fruits before some of the fruits. So yeah, uh, my name is Lucas Charlie Rose. I'm a hip hop artist from France originally. My dad is from the West Indies, my mom is from Brittany, so I'm biracial as well. And I happen to be trans. So yeah, trans person of color doing some hip hop over there. But did you get the memo? One of the reasons why I'm the first fruit is because sometimes when like y'all get a show or you get something, Max tells me before she tells you. <laughs> <laughs> and we also take his guitar on. So yes, yeah, my guitar is the fifth foot. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna ask, how would you describe the music of Strange Fruits in your own words? I don't know. I think it's funny that they're like I when the first thought I had when um they were uh, accepted for the hip hop on rotation program. I remember like a conversation I had with Mac last year where he was like, Strange Fruits is not hip hop. Like, she was like, I, we don't want to be hip-hop. <laughs> I'm like, well, <laughs> now I guess it's official. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I remember Max being like, I don't want to be hip-hop because often black people are just labeled hip-hop right away, right? Mm -hmm. um, which is also one of the reasons why I think hip-hop is not a genre of music, more mm -hmm. of a culture. Like, within hip-hop, there's a lot of different genres. Strange fruits. <laughs> I don't know. Like, what it's just it mixing a bunch of different yeah. stuff together. Like... We're really different, so. It's like, yeah. Yeah. so. It's like, but like, yeah, I feel like it's be, like it's every not, song is usually, different than the other. But that's something that I like about the fruits and that, like, they're capable of doing a bunch of different sounds. Um, which, like, because I'm into that too. Like, I really like experiencing, like, I do acoustic music and then I'm gonna, like, like, record a funk song and then just hip hop, trap, and then. R and B and then pop and then you know like I like touching a bit everything and I like people who can do the same thing and mm -hmm. I feel like yeah the fruits are not limited especially Nike I like we make music all the time yes yeah. uh, yeah <laughs> so I don't know how I would, how I would describe their music cause how would you not describe it ah I would question. not say that it's bad because it's not it's good Woo! It's, it's like, them it's not, like it's, it's not, just it's them not like not I don't know. How to describe your music? Cause it's just you. Like I, I just know, know you, so it's like. Well, that's good. 
Yeah. We just said alternative chill soul because okay. I'm soul. Mag is more like chill stuff kind of girl. Yeah. And then Sage is very alternative. Okay. Does, so we just make stuff here together. Yeah, yeah, that's really cute. Yeah. That's how. But I feel like there's always that element of like, that's a thing that like me and my friends have in common and catchy. That's something that we all have. Like whenever we make music, like the surprises you're gonna hear this summer, it's super catchy. Everything's super catchy. And I feel like that's not a skill that you can learn too. Coming up next, we'll unwrap the mysteries and find out more from our featured artist du jour. One soundbite at a time. As Odd Rotation continues from your friends at CJLO 6090 AM. We all. CJLO is a college community radio station broadcasting out of the Loyola campus of Concordia University in Montreal, Quebec. We broadcast at 1690 kilohertz on the AM dial and have a transmitter with 1000 watts of power. The views expressed on air do not reflect CJLO. Any views expressed during a show are those of the DJ and not of the station as a whole or its management. If you would like to find out more, please visit our website at cjlo.com. Thanks for your support and keep listening to CJLO 1690 AM, Montreal's underground radio.